It's yellow fever in this campaign stage in Danao City, Cebu. The Duranos of the 5th District and their local Bakud party have a new ally, Liberal Party Gubernatorial Bet Hilario Jun Jun Davide III. Davide is running against Congressman Pablo John P.J. Garcia. The Duranos supported his sister suspended Governor Gwen Garcia over Davide just three years ago. In a tight race in the country's most vote-rich province, the Durano turnaround is a game-changer. It was in the 5th district where Davide suffered his biggest loss in 2010. Despite the defection, PJ says his one Cebu party remains more organized than the ruling party, having more incumbents and complete slates. Staunch Garcia critic and Davide ally Cebu Congressman Tomas Osmeña dismisses this. It was organized. They've got the forces. But people are just angry. When it turns out, that's a negative vote. So it's not so much you new people don't like it. It's just obnoxious. This has been involved in so many anomalies. Harping on the controversies, Osmeña and Davide urged Sabuanos not to allow her brother to continue the Garcia dynasty. This is the controversial Balili property here in Tinaan, Naga Cebu. In 2008, the provincial government under Governor Gwen Garcia bought this property for 98.9 million pesos to attract investors. But the ombudsman finds that a large portion of this property is underwater. It is now the subject of a graph case at the Sandigan Bayan. Political sociology professor Phoebe Sanchez says LP's message appeals to intellectuals, but it's a different case for many residents of Cebu's coastal barangays. After all, Gwen and her father, Congressman Pablin Garcia, pampered these barangays with perks and projects for 18 years. May problema yung kay Gwen dahil nga sa mga kaso niya. Pero, had this if affected the small communities, the barangay levels, hindi naman tumatago sa kanila eh. Kasi top level lang yung nag-aaway. At saka, hindi sila apektado. So para sa kanila, ang iisipin nila, can say makasalbar, who can save us? Still, Davide hopes Cebuanos will heed his call for change. For PJ, voters must give him the mandate to continue his sister's exceptional leadership. If we allow another to see it, sit there, kawawa ang Cebu. Because what's going to happen is that this Garcia is going to sit there if he wins, then maybe he can cover up yung lahat ng mga the sins of uh, the sister. All these accusations against my sister are still unproven accusations. They will be um, taken up in court. Uh, they would see that these accusations are, are really uh, baseless and... and uh, and pol political. Alliances, party strength, perks. All these are factors in determining who will be the next leader of the country's de facto second capital. As Cebuanos go to the polls, they face the choice not just between two personalities, but also between the two opposing ideals these candidates claim to represent. Ayi Makraig, Rappler, Cebu.